what it do you to slash patreon slash bit shoot today's video i want to talk about uh that i want to chime in with a quick impromptu video in today's video i want to talk about the tornadoes that ripped through the midwest so first things first before i start this video i just want to say rest in peace to all the people that lost their lives during this natural disaster my condolences goes out to the family of the people of the families of the people who lost their lives or who was affected by this tragedy first things first i'm from the midwest i'm from chicago il you feel me so i know how it goes in the midwest when it comes to natural disasters but chicago and a few other states like um ohio well chicago is not a state like illinois Ohio, shit like that, we barely even get tornadoes. At least speaking for Illinois, speaking for Chicago and shit, we barely even get tornadoes. And there might be some other little cities in the state of Illinois or towns and shit, they get tornadoes. But even with that, I still don't even think that we even get tornadoes out there because you see, we like boxed in by all those other different states. You know what I mean? So it's like, Technically, they would get hit before we did, but the few states that got hit was Michigan, Arkansas, and Kentucky. Now, first things first, what I want to say is if you're from Chicago or any place in the Midwest, you would, you have seen this before. Well, especially if you're really from Chicago or, or like Cleveland or something, yeah, probably Wisconsin, you would notice that the wind could get real bad and the leaves and shit, they start to spin and then they just stop. That's like the closest shit we ever got to a tornado. You know, at least speaking on from my own experience, like in Chicago, we have had um, like tornado warnings and shit, but we, I, I've never experienced a tornado a damn life. And I've been in Chicago damn near my whole life, 20 plus years, two. We never got earthquakes in Chicago. And if we do get them, because we do, but they be so small that you don't even feel it. That's how small they be. You know what I mean? Like, we get warnings of them, like earthquakes and tornadoes, but I have never experienced an earthquake or a tornado a day in my life. So it's like, I understand what's going on, but I'm going to give it to you from more of a philosophical, philosophical, sorry, a philosophical point of view. So basically, all that stuff that you see that's going on, it's really just judgment from um, the Most High, you know, God, Jesus Christ, Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh Shai, whatever names you want to go by. It's really just judgment, you know what I mean? A lot of people can judge. You can go see it. A lot of these demons that's out here, like you watch those demonically possessed videos and shit, the demons speak through the people and they tell you millions and billions of people are misled, millions and billions of people souls are going to the fire this is real shit this ain't no super religious shit or this ain't no scare tactics or none of that shit and like i said my condolences goes out to those families for people who've been affected by this natural disaster but you have to understand what's going on from a higher point of view from a philosophical point of view this is nothing but judgment you know what i mean real shit and, you know, a lot of these places are wicked states. A lot of people that's in these cities and states are wicked people. And that's just what it is. Like I said, um, a lot of them not. Very few of them not. I'm not saying they deserve it or none of that shit. It's not funny. I'm not saying none of that. I'm just letting you know. Look, look what's going on. Look what's going on. From these celebrity killings. To this COVID to all this type of stuff, you don't see it. These are in days, in times. A lot of people don't want to believe it, but the same people who don't want to believe it, they don't even got their soul right. And they end up being like a stick in the mud and all that shit like that. It's really deeper than that, you know what I mean? You don't have to sit and read the Bible all day. It ain't even nothing like that. It's just deeper. It's just who you're around, what you indulge in, what you give your spiritual energy to, what you give your energy to in general. That's really what it's about. A lot of people give their energy to demonic shit. And they end up getting caught in somebody else's bad karma. 
So a lot of people, they probably didn't even know that that natural disaster was going to happen. I'm not saying they did, but I'm just saying, look what's going on. It's judgment. It's different things going to start to happen in different places. You know, the 13th Sun had talked about this a very long time ago. There's going to be sinkholes. There's going to be natural disasters. There's going to be tornadoes. There's going to be hurricanes. There's going to be all types of stuff going on. There's going to be pestilence, famine. All that shit is happening slowly but surely. This COVID shit is just that stronger with the that new variant. Some to start with an O or some shit like that. Omicron or something. It's gonna keep getting worse. I'm telling you, this is judgment on America, judgment on Babylon. The people who are righteous, like I said, that don't necessarily mean you. Not like that. But the people who are righteous, they will continue to rise during this time of destruction. The people who are devils. Who signed, who sold over to those demons, whether they know it or not, they're gonna keep falling and falling, keep declining and declining. Watch, and they're gonna wonder why. How, how is all this stuff ending around you, but you just keep rising up? That's the energy of the Most High when you're protected by the Most High. That's what you gotta understand. A lot of people have sold them, sold their souls, and that don't even necessarily mean with Hollywood. That's why I be trying to explain to you. That don't necessarily mean. You sold your soul to Hollywood. You know what I mean? That doesn't mean that. You can, but a lot of people sold their soul to selling drugs. A lot of people sold their soul to selling hoes. A lot of people sold their soul to pedophilia. A lot of people sold their soul to being a hood nigga. Being a real nigga. A hood nigga and a real nigga is two different things. You know what I mean? A real nigga is somebody that actually take care of their responsibilities, take care of their women, and don't just get them pregnant and just leave them. Real niggas don't do that. Hood niggas do that. And even hood niggas don't even do that. Just dumb niggas do that. You know what I mean? So it's a difference. It's all this shit is categorized now. And and that's pretty much what's going on. It's just judgment. We living in the end times. Judgment day. A lot of people will say, how can you, how are you so calm? This and that. I know a lot of stuff a lot of people don't know. A lot of people want this information. They want that information. And I'm just going to keep 100 with you, shit. If you want that information, shit. You got to do the research yourself or pay for the information. It's just that motherfucking simple because a lot of the information that people put out here, and they putting their life on the line, especially if you sold your soul to whatever you sold your soul to. And me, I had to sold my soul. I got my motherfucking soul, as you can clearly see. You probably won't be able to clearly see because a lot of people not thinking straight, but I have my soul. I never sold my soul. And I can get in the camera with a straight face, See, I ain't smiling and none of that shit. I ain't smirking and nothing. I haven't sold my soul. That's why a lot of these people mad. They trying to get me over on their team to try to get me to sell my soul and all that shit. And it's like, bro, at this point in time, I'm just too protected by the most high for that to even happen. You know what I mean? Like, I've been misled. I've been down the wrong path. I've been going, I've been going through the torture rituals and shit. And that's another video I may do. I could talk about it a little bit on here, but this was really about that natural disaster shit. But I've been through the torture rituals and check out a channel called Three Hearts Church. Shout out to Three Hearts Church. They have ministry that's in Texas. I'm not sure exactly where in Texas. And they have a female pastor, which is nothing wrong with that at all. It's just very rare to see. Um, and I think the pastor name is Miss Sherry, I think, if I'm not mistaken. So shout out to Miss Sherry. Shout out to Three Hearts Church. In Texas, they're very, 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 very good ministry. They have a lot of good videos on YouTube. They still make videos to this day. And, um, and yeah, they talk about a lot of the stuff that I talk about. You know what I mean? And I, I like them. You know, they talk about end times, end days, real shit. But my whole point of bringing them up was you never know. Like, somebody, some the information that I have, it might wake people up to a certain extent. But the information that Three Hearts Church have, it might really wake somebody up. But I was really bringing them up because the pastor, Sherry, she talked about it. She said a lot of the information that she, a lot of the researchers, she's been researching, a lot of them lost their lives for putting out this type of information because it's real information. You know what I mean? So, you know, check them out. Check out their content. They're very good. You know what I mean? But, um, oh yeah, and another reason why I brought them up, I just remembered. In one of uh, their videos, uh, the pastor, Miss Sherry, she talks about um, the cloning and uh, the clone lab and the torture rituals and shit. And she was saying that a lot of people try to torture people 
to create fragmentations in their mind, to create split personalities, which is basically another form of like demonic possession where these people can grow up and be like double agents where they like run drugs, they like kill people and shit like that. That's really what the torture ritual is for. I've been through the torture rituals. You know what I mean? No, I'm not an agent. I don't work for the CIA, none of that shit. My mind was just too strong and I broke it. And yes, I still have my own problems. I still get fragmented every now and then, you know what I mean? Mood swings and shit like that. But every human has flaws. You know what it's, it's when you can see it or whether it's on the inside or whether it's both. You know what I mean? Like, and I always say I'm not perfect and trying to be perfect. Because when you're perfect, you don't have any room to make errors. So you can't make corrections because you can't, you're too perfect. You see what I mean? So I don't want to be perfect. So it's just like, I'm just explaining this shit to you to let you know that you can relate to real people. It's real people out here. It's just more demons and more fake people outshadowing all the good people. Just like with the news. I'm not going to say the news is bad, but the news ain't 100% good either because all they're showing is this shooting happened, and this happened, this person died, this and that. And they might show a few good things. Oh, a new small business opened up. Or somebody donated to the cancer uh, foundation. You know, like stuff like that. It's more bad shit than good shit. It's supposed to be more good shit than bad shit. But remember, we don't control the media. So it's like, you know what I mean? But at the same time, it's good to see some of that bad shit. Because now you know to stay away from that area. Now you know to be on your P's and Q's and just be watching. You know what I mean? So it depends on the person, how they use the information. So like I said, I've been through the torture rituals. If you've been following my videos and shit, I've explained this type of shit before. I'm not going to go into it anymore. But I've been through the torture rituals and shit. You know what I mean? And I overcame that shit. And that's why a lot of people mad because I'm still speaking on this shit. Most people ain't supposed to be speaking on this shit. A lot of people that go through that clone lab shit and all that, they don't hit their awakening stage till they like in their 30s. I'm 26. I've been hit my awakening stage a long time ago. I'm still awakening now, but... I'm, I haven't been to the clone lab, at least from what I remember. I don't think so. But um, they get you in there at a young age and shit. It's just like some Freemasonry, Illuminati, secret society shit. But they basically try to fragment your mind and break you down completely to try to rebuild you to be something else, if that makes sense, to be what they want you to be. So like the Three Hearts Church, the Pastor Sherry, how she said in one of her videos, there's like a video about clones and humanoids. You got a lot of humanoids out here. You got a lot of clones out here. You got a lot of vampires out here. You got people from the ex-Illuminati members. I know, I, have, I know a lot of people going to say, how are they ex-Illuminati members and stuff like that? Because once you're in there, you're in there for good, yeah? But if you actually have the power to get saved by Christ, the Most High, that that's what outpower anything. So you got these ex-Illuminati members coming out telling you what the fuck going on. Vampires, all that shit is real. All that shit they show in these video games, all that shit is real. All that shit is distractions. Keep you distracted from what's really going on. And for you need to watch out who you got in your circle, who you got around you. Because everybody is not for your benefit. Trust me, I've learned this the hard way. Motherfuckers might come around, something for your benefit, but no, they're not. They're really just trying to influence you to do something stupid or influence you to just go down the wrong path, aka called being misled. At this point in time, your biggest challenge, your biggest goal should be survival. And that's just real talk. You know what I mean? But like I was saying, these natural disasters and stuff like that, that's just a small amount. Excuse me. That's just a small amount of judgment from the most high. It's going to be more and more crazier stuff going on. I'm trying to tell you, these are real end days. We have a lot of prophets out here. They all come in different forms, shapes, and sizes. Different genders, all that shit. Real talk. Real talk. And in my videos, like I always say, it's being shadow banned. I've supposed to been at a million subscribers. But like I said, me personally, I'm not really caught up in the flash. Oh, I got these many numbers. I got these many numbers. I put my mind on something. I built me a following. They slowed it down by shadow banning it, fucking with the numbers. It is what it is, but I still built me something. I still took the time out of my day, out of my life, to build something. And when you do that, you're going to have people just trying to destroy it. That's just a bloodline of Judas's. That's just what it is. You know what I mean? And that's just really what it is at the end of the day. But like I said, it's judgment on America, a.k.a. Babylon. 
that's only going to keep it worse and worse and worse. Like I said, to the people that was affected by that natural disaster, our condolences go out to you and your family. Stay strong. And just watch your back out here, man. Real shit. Like-minded people, strong-minded people have to stick together. Real talk. Whether you're in different states and all that shit, you have to stick together. You know, and I know it's a lot of distrust and mistrust out here, which is totally, totally understandable. But it's just like, hey, we got to start from somewhere. I don't want to go out there and trust anybody, of course. And I've done that, and I've been screwed over many times, you know what I mean? But that's the same thing. It's a learning experience. To me, experience is just like a fact. Experience is going to show you what it is and what it ain't. Just like a fact. It can't be it can't be debated it can't be changed a fact is a fact and that's what experience is to me it's a fact when you have experience and shit you know certain shit because you have the facts you've seen it firsthand you've been through it firsthand point blank period no blood wake the damn up more videos coming soon stay strong man real talk survival should be your number one goal you know it's demons everywhere i'm telling you they're trying to get you to react. They've been trying to get me to react. Just, you know what I mean? Stay to yourself. Keep raising up your vibration. You know what I mean? Keep manifesting. Keep eating healthy. Just stay the fuck out of the way. Build up your aura. A lot of demons cannot be around people with strong auras. The shit might sound crazy and far-fetched. This is real spiritual information they don't want you to know. No, no. They don't want the masses to know. Yeah, right. Wake up, man. Real talk.